So Tim, what are we doing here? Well, I'm just making some uh, artichokes. We're gonna have salad, we're gonna have Santa Ana potatoes, we're gonna have asparagus, shrimp, and we're gonna have poached salmon. And we've got French bread to go with it, and I'm gonna make a salad, so we have plenty of wine, and we're gonna start off with martinis, we'll move on to the artichokes when they're prepared a minute here, and as it says in Ecclesiastes, eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart. So hopefully we'll be doing lots of that this evening. Well, I'm Tim Rush, and I've lived here in town for a little over 20 years and moved here from Irvine, so I'm a refugee of Irvine. I have been active for years with the Historical Society. I served as vice president on the, on the board there for a number of years. Santa Ana is kind of my adopted hometown. I, I wasn't born here, but I, I've gotten to know a great deal about it, and I love its people and architecture and neat places. and and uh, restaurants and quirky businesses and uh, all the things that make Santa Ana unique. Well, Santa Ana, um, uh, strangely enough, has kind of a prohibitionist past because we had a strong women's cr Christian temperance union membership here in town. And um, those ladies convinced the city fathers as a result of an awful lot of revelry that was happening downtown to pass a pro prohibition and I, I want to say that was in the was in the late teens of the last century and it stayed in effect for several years and then finally the city overturned it and we went back to uh, wild women and drinking and so forth. Well this is a, a called the Santora building and the, na the name Santora uh, comes from the combination of the two names of Santa Ana and Orange. They designed this building in a very unique style, after, uh, named after a Spanish, 15th century Spanish architect by the name of Jose Cherguier. Lots of, lots of detail around the entry, all that gingerbread, the, the gargoyles and the, the shields, the cartouches, the, there's, there's heads of angels, all of that stuff on the, if you look at that, lots of detail around the opening to the Santora building. Uh, th there is another building of this architectural style in Orange County. It's one of a handful in Southern California. Uh, it is absolutely a true landmark, so we're, we're lucky to have it. <clears throat> so our Artichokes will be done here in a moment, and then uh, bada bing, we'll have an appetizer. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bip, bada boop. And we have Santa Ana potatoes here. And bada bing, you've got delicious, delicious shrimp. When you look at the Knights of Pythias building, there's obvious influences of the Chirigoresque style, uh, classical uh, Spanish revival architecture. It is absolutely a first cousin to the Santora building. Well, the Pythians were an organization, a fraternal organization that was founded during the time of the Civil War. They formed their lodge in Santa Ana in 1890, and they were not necessarily a religious organization, but um, the Pythians referred to themselves as men of God. It was a fraternal organization to promote friendship between uh, combatants in the north as well as from the south. Santa Ana has quite a, a legacy of Civil War uh, involvement. Oh, I just cut off my thumb. Oh, I'll try not to bleed too much. Oh, I seem to, oh my God, I'm gushing. Then I go again. Anyway, <laughs> back to Art Deco. Uh, so the Art Deco movement began in 1922 officially. It is characterized by strong vertical elements as a part of the architecture, 
stylized motifs, things like chevrons, sunbursts, uh, stylized like flowers, and so forth. The three best examples we have in town of Art Deco architecture are the Empire Building, the Old City Hall, and of course the grandest one of all, the mother of all Art Deco buildings in Santa Ana, is the Masonic Temple. Even though it has a Gothic, a very elaborate Gothic interior, the exterior is probably the finest example in the county and one of the finest buildings in Southern California for Art Deco architecture. I think uh, that one of the great things that Santa Ana offers is a, a wonderful eclectic mix of cultures and, and people and I, I would like to see that develop to its, its highest potential. And uh, Santa Ana, Santa Ana's future is bright and we're a community that can prosper if we all work together. I don't mean to sound uh, oh, like some TV commercial, but I, I believe that's true. Santa Ana's best days are ahead and certainly not behind us. I think they're ahead of us. So if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be standing here. Great. Thank you, Tim. Um, I'm good. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cut. 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 Cut.